Boy, that escalated quickly. What's up, you all? Happy Friday to you guys, and happy Father's Day to all you dads out there this weekend. Today was Friday, the 16th of June, and this was my stock market trading and what I was doing in the market. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. And as always, I hope you guys had an awesome week in trading and made some money for yourselves. But let me go over my portfolio and what I think is going to happen next week in the market. So for a lot of you out there, this was a pretty emotional roller coaster week for me. I had been bag holding Nike for quite some time. It's kind of what happens when you kind of fall victim to a three standard deviation and you kind of chase after it a little bit. It's just kind of what happens in options trading. Um, again, I know a lot of y'all say, you know, your first loss is your best loss. I get it. Sometimes I just tried to stay in the, the uh, statistical modeling of the stock and I thought, hey, we've seen a pretty significant deviation from the range. We'll stay in it. And it kind of went against me. However, I'm pretty practical. I play calls, I play puts, and I try to average back in as best I can. But with that, once I was able to get out of jail, I probably could have stayed in the stock and made a little bit more money on it. Oh well, but long story short, uh, that's when I kind of jumped into Microsoft. So I had this giant yo-yo of a week, and I'm just I'm pretty happy that I'm pretty much even, and I can trade freely starting Monday again. So this is what I'm going to be doing. All right, so now that I'm in my Schwab options account, uh, today we had a nice little bounce of 4% nearly, and year-to-date we are at 55% on the portfolio. Honestly, look at the last few days. We went from a 134 watermark, dropped all the way down when I got short at the wrong timing with Microsoft on Wednesday evening going into Thursday, and then Microsoft just rallied in my face and crushed me. In the last 72 hours, I got out of jail on Nike. I immediately got back to my original watermark at 134 on the portfolio. That's when I started basically getting conservative and redistributing my options trades with Nike and then getting into a short position with Microsoft. Well, Thursday, y'all know what happened there. Microsoft just makes a total run. I lose most of those gains the following day, and here we go. We wake up the next day, Friday morning, Microsoft's all the way above 350, and I'm thinking, my goodness, what am I going to do here? So I just stayed even keel. I kept buying puts and uh, selling some more calls against the position to average it back in. And thank God I did. By the end of the day's trading, I got it back to pretty much my original watermark. What ended up giving me faith this morning, as you can see on Microsoft, it had run up to 351. At that point, I said, you know what? We'll just we'll buy some more puts at it. I'm not going to look at it. And then I came back to it a little bit. And once I saw the double top here, I was like, all right, the Nasdaq's retracing. This is a double top. This is the price action we've been waiting for, and sure enough, the stock started to retrace. Thank God. So next week, we might see a technical pullback. I might do some iron condors or some strangles. I'll certainly let you guys know on Monday. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.